Hello everyone, my name is Kate Jarvis and I'm here with Pinnacle Emergency Vehicles. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of this Demir's MXP-170. The MXP-170 from Demir's is a versatile Type 1 ambulance built to handle a wide range of conditions. It comes standard with many exclusive features such as LED lighting throughout, an increased ALS compartment space, and much more. The interior of the module is 170 inches in length and has 72 inches of headroom. Alright, so we're going to start off in the front. This unit was built on a Ram 4500 chassis with 4x4 capabilities, and we also equipped it with liquid spring suspension. So here we've got the auxiliary condenser mounted on the front of the module. This is an option that's guaranteed to keep your personnel and patients cool during those hot summers. As a standard on all of our ambulances, you can see we've got a wheeling lighting package. This is really bright. Um, it's proven to be pretty durable over time, and we include them on the entire length of the module. Starting off the front of the module, you got your auto eject here. And over here in um, street side one, you've got your oxygen storage. All right, in this compartment here, this is where all your electricals included. And right below that, we've just got some miscellaneous storage here. This last compartment on the street side, we've got a, a ton of storage on the bottom, as well as inside outside access on the top. So looking at the rear of the module, you can see the mirror says they're iconic flush matted windows. This improves visibility and also lowers repair costs. Additionally, you can see all the warning lights we've included and that zone defense backup camera here. The rearmost compartment on this side of the ambulance is going to be for your backboard and stair chair storage. Here in the ALS department, you can see there's plenty of storage. This is also inside outside access, like most of them are. And in here is your battery storage. In this front action area, you can see all the main controls you'll need on this ambulance. Here's all your lighting controls. This is where your um, AC or heat controls will be, radio, volume, inverter controls. Here's all your oxygen outlet areas, suction, countertop suction obviously, and we've got all sorts of electrical outlets for, use to, for you to use up here, 120 volt and 12. This is your oxygen access door, so whenever you're needing to use it, come in here, crank the oxygen cylinder up. This is a pull-out drawer. It's great for use for storage as well as a writing surface um, if you're writing on papers or anything like that. One of my favorite features in this Demir's MXP-170, and it's included in a lot of Demir's modules, is the restocking frame. So obviously it can be really difficult to squeeze in here and try and refill your bins with all of the different equipment you use. Demir's includes these flip-up restocking frames, making it really easy for you to get in here and change anything you need. Located at the front of the module is your radio compartment. Plenty of extra space up here for you to mount radios or any other equipment that you might need in your ambulance. All right, up here in the ALS compartment, you can see there's plenty of storage for everything that you need. It goes really far deep in here because this is that 170 inch module. We've got a pull-out drawer here, more storage down there, and a locking cabinet up here. Coming in the curbside door, there's plenty of features here. First things first, we've got two D-cylinder oxygen storage capabilities. Also located up here is gonna be this opening window. This allows you to get some fresh air inside the module, um, and it also helps with COVID or any other bacteria that may be inside the vehicle. All right, so I'm here in the CPR seat. Um, this is a six-point harness right here. You've got in your secondary action area, more outlets, a light over the top, as well as a pull-out drawer with that writing surface. One of the great things about the mirrors is that they include ducted AC in many of their modules. So this allows you to get air flowing throughout the entire length of the module, not just at the very front. Looking here at the rear of the module, you've got plenty of storage here in this compartment, also with those restocking frames. And this is where that inside-outside access was included. And this also has restocking frames. On this curbside area, you've got more storage up here for everything that you need. 
Below that, you've got all your glove storage, easily replaceable, plenty of gloves you can store in here. Um, and then also you've got the pretty standard curbside bench. Here's also some controls for your temperature, fan speed, things like that. Waste is located right below here. You've got two seating positions on the bench, and below the bench is some additional storage. All right, looking at the top of the ceiling, you can see there's plenty of features even included here. So you've got IV holders, four of those located throughout the top of this module. Eight dome lights, creating some really bright, shadowless lights so you don't miss anything. Two holders here, those are always important, you know that. As well as oxygen outlets access up here um, in case you ever need it and can't access it from the side. All right, so now we're inside the cab and here I'm gonna give you a tour of everything the mirrors includes up here. So obviously here's all your controls for your lighting. Scene lighting, emergency lighting, it'll all be controlled right here, as well as sirens, and this is usually where your radio is gonna be mounted. Another thing Pinnacle opted to include in this build was a zone defense camera system. So you can see this is a view from the rear of the ambulance, but whenever you press this button here, you will also see the view from the patient module. So you can be watching and seeing how your medic's doing in the back while you're transporting to the hospital. Appreciate you taking the time to take a tour of this MXP 170 with us. If you have any questions, you can contact us at 417-540-0600 or at www.pinnacle-ev.com.